Going deep in meditation, sitting underneath a tree. Letting go of all desire, entering tranquility. Hi, I'm Buddha Dave. Let's have a cup of tea and talk about the illusion of hierarchies. Hierarchy is the default system of organization on our planet at this time. But hierarchies are not real entities. They're simply abstractions. They're not alive. They don't have any physical existence. They're just ideas, concepts, collections of agreements among people. In other words, software. But even though their existence is only virtual, they still can generate karma and therefore suffering just like any other fabrication. Hierarchies like religions, nations, and corporations have tremendous power in our lives, but that's only because we choose to let them. We're hypnotized to think that hierarchies are real, and so we build them one on top of the other huh? until there's this huge, enormous superstructure, just like a house of cards, and any little shock can knock the whole thing down. Hierarchical fabrications mirror the structure of the false ego that we create to have an identity in this world. Want to be a teacher? Start a school. Want to be rich? Start a corporation. Want power? Start a political party, run for office, or even start a country. These hierarchies are nothing but fabricated abstractions, but they can create a stage on which we can play the part that we desire. And so the creation of hierarchical fabrications and false ego fabrications are inextricably linked. And we see them operating together in life all the time. Actually, there are no such things as religions, governments, and corporations. They don't really exist. Can you show me a religion? Huh? I mean, you might show me a church or something like that, but that's not a religion. Can you show me, you might show me a scripture or a book or something, but that's not a religion. What is a religion exactly? Well, it's something that people believe in, right? So it's just a belief in our minds. Similarly, countries, corporations, all kinds of things that we create out of nothing, just by words, even our own self, they're just fabrications of our mind. But because those fabrications are backed up by intention, and because the natural evolution of fabrications goes through the natural stages of gestation, birth, growth, production of byproducts, dwindling, and death, just like anything that's fabricated, that means we can experience suffering even from these abstract fabrications. So this tends to explain the fact that we all know, actually, that all corporate hierarchies are out of integrity. We're taking something that's not real, that's just an abstraction, and we're saying this is a real entity. In fact, in many countries, corporations have just as much rights as a living person, which is absurd, huh? because it's simply a bunch of agreements among people. It's software, it's virtual. So this is a lie. In fact, the first thing that we do when we form a corporation, I know because I've formed three or four of them, is you file what's called a fictitious name statement. A fictitious name. The whole thing is a fiction. It's a fabrication. It's a lie. So any story that you build on, on that lie is also a lie because the entity, this so-called existence of the corporation, is a figment of everybody's imagination to begin with. When people talk about this buzzword in business today of integrity this and integrity that, I have to laugh. You can never get your integrity in as long as you believe in the reality of a fictional entity like a corporation or a religion or a country. And that's why we see countries playing dirty tricks on one another and people in religious positions and hierarchies playing dirty tricks on each other and on us. That's because anything that begins from a lie is bound to create suffering. That's just karma. Let's look into this in a little more detail. For example, a religion, because a religion is the prototype of hierarchical organization that all others are based on. So let's say uh, enlightened being shows up like the Buddha. He 
gives a teaching that really helps people, that really allows people to experience more of themselves and reality and life. As soon as he goes away, then somebody takes over the group that he started. I'm not going to call it an organization because it isn't. There's something real there. You have a real enlightened person and you have some other real people inquiring from him. That's not an organization. An organization starts when you call it something. Enlightenism. <laughs> or thisism or thatism or that inanity. <laughs> something or other. You give it a false name because the founder isn't there anymore. It's just a belief in the principles or teachings of the founder. And then you build up, you get properties and buildings and men and money, and you build up this big organization with titles and levels and, and all kinds of designations based on a lie. So over time, what happens is that the teaching gradually changes. Why? Because the leaders of any hierarchy have to demonstrate that they're doing something to continue the existence of the hierarchy. Otherwise, they'll get kicked out. There's tremendous competition at the top of the pyramid. So any little mistake they make, they're out. The next guy's in. They have to show that they're making the organization strong so that it'll live forever. Huh? This <laughs> imaginary eternal life thing comes into it. Well, we'll get into that more later. So the leaders have to take action against people who would tend to reveal the fact that the organization is not a real entity. So what do they do? They harm the individuals, kick them out, discipline them in various ways and so on, so that the group will continue to exist. And they, they harm those individuals with the rationalization that we're doing it in the service of the group. We're doing it for the good of the group. And the good of the, of the many outweighs the good of the few. So by this rationalization, they perform so many uh, evil acts in the name of the religion. And so gradually, to facilitate this process, the teaching has to change. And they change it so you don't notice it, little by little, over hundreds of years, until a few centuries later, the teaching is like completely different than the original thing, the, the teaching given by the founder. Uh, and we see this in all religions. Just read any book on the history of religion, any religion, doesn't matter. They're all pretty much the same. So when we see all this clearly, and realize it for ourselves. Don't just believe it because I say it. You think about it yourself and the organizations that you've known, the corporate hierarchies that you have come in contact with. And are they really helping you? No, they are in existence to benefit themselves. And they do at our expense. But we allow them to exist by going into agreement with the idea of the existence of the corporate hierarchy. And we uh, accept that there's these different levels. Huh? You're a customer, he's a salesman, and here's the sales manager, and here's the vice president and the president of the corporation, and they're in charge of the assets of the corporation. This is all a smokescreen, simply to justify exploiting you, making a profit from you in the name of the corporation, or in the name of the religion or the country or whatever else it is. And now gradually, people have started to act like corporations. You notice? Corporations are sociopathic. They don't exist for the benefit of the people in the society around them. They exist only for their own benefit. They're like selfish children. So corporations are sociopathic by nature. And now people have started to act like them. They have become the role models for people in society. And this is going to lead to a complete meltdown of society because they will get to the point where nobody trusts anybody anymore and there's going to be so many rules to stop wrongdoing that nothing will function anymore. Everything will gradually break down. And this is what happens on the downside of an empire. On the upside of the empire, everybody's making money like crazy and so they don't mind the, the various abuses and stuff. But then as soon as it peaks and begins to decline, then all this stuff comes out and gradually everything gridlocks and stops working. And that's the phase of Western civilization that we're in now. And we're going to see it more and more and more. That the rules designed to stop misconduct of these corporate entities are gradually going to strangle everything until it's impossible to do anything. Just look at the internet. You can't do anything on the internet now without a password. 
Why? Because a few people with bad intentions have screwed up the thing for everybody else. And it's just going to get more and more and more like that until everything more or less collapses. So welcome to the decline and fall of Western civilization brought to you by your local hierarchical corporation. <laughs> this is Buddha Dave signing off. Thank you for being with us. May all beings be happy and safe. May all beings see the reality of their and others fabrications. In other words, that they don't exist. And may all beings attain ultimate enlightenment.